So I'm reporting on the first day of a four-day juice fast. Today is Tuesday, and the first day was yesterday, Monday. And I think I can report a, an epic fail on that juice fast. <laughs> Although it's all success, it's really no failure. It's just that I had certain intentions, and then I had certain actions, and my intentions were not in line with my actions, as it turned out. So, my intention was to do juicing. I got up and I made juice. I made, um, I think, a carrot juice. And um, I drank that. And then I was just pretty good with that. And then I, I only had some, some of the ingredients of my Bloody Mary mix. And um, I made some tomato juice. And it was, wasn't very tasty. It wasn't very satisfying. So I went out to the store. I, had, I knew I had to get more ingredients. And... I ended up going to the store and I just had this desire for pistachio nuts. And then I got some cashews, some salty cashews. I had salt, you know, I needed, I had that craving for salt. And I also got the crystallized ginger, which is my sweet go-to. And I ended up, you know, after I got out of the store, I just sat in the car and just worked my way through a bag of pistachio nuts. <laughs> Felt very familiar. I've done that before. And then I started shoving the salted cashews in my mouth. And then I started shoving the crystallized ginger in my mouth. I was just out of control. You know, I was just, you know, this juicing thing is not working for me today. I want some food. And I came home and I um, ended up making some ramen noodles with vegetables because I really wanted some. It was just, I just want some food. You know, I've been juicing. I did a total of 10, 7, 17, 27, 29 days of juice um, in the past, let's say, 40 days, something like that. And I'm just, you know, wanting food right now. And I ate, you know, I did eat, and I think I had a cookie, some cookie crumbs at the end of the night. And what else did I have? Well, that was it. I wasn't juicing, in other words, yesterday. And I woke up this morning, and I had um, some of the carrot juice that was left. Oh, I had some orange juice. I juiced three oranges. I had some orange juice, and then I had some of the carrot juice that was left. And, um, and then I just wanted some garbanzo bean salad, and I made some with a skinny girl dressing, balsamic vinegar, peppers, tomatoes, onions. And it was very satisfying. It was very good. You know, and I ate that. So I guess I'm, you know, had the intention to do juice fasting, but I think I've given up the intention. However, my overarching goal was to not continue the escalation of eating that I had kind of gotten my momentum up with these social events where I was, you know, going to restaurants, overeating, getting food into the um, realm of fun and entertainment and activity as opposed to an activity that was beyond the activity of just eating and more into the activity of recreation. And that's what I wanted to avoid. I was 123.8 this morning and all my body mass index and my muscle and all that, you know, pretty much the same. Fat was, I think, 19% uh, of fat, something like that. I could get my numbers out, but I don't have them right here. And um, I just want to keep it in the zone, like just keep it reined in. And what I kind of came to a realization this morning, I just watched a video on Japanese eating. I've been studying Aikido which is a wonderful martial art, and I'm kind of getting myself into the mindset, a Japanese mindset, you know, reading all these Japanese terminologies and watching Japanese martial arts videos, and so, sort of in a Japanese frame of mind, you know, two months ago I was in a French frame of mind, and now I'm in a Japanese frame of mind, and I watched a video on why are Japanese people so thin, and it's sort of similar to why French people are thin, although, they are eating different foods, but they do have, they have no snacking. 
eating is a an, um, done at particular times of the day, and it's done with great intentionality. Also, a lot of care to presentation. Many small bowls. Um, people know what they're going to be eating at a meal. They're not. Uh, throwing things together, especially they they're thinking of ahead of time that they you know have rice cooked that they have you know stuff for sushi they have the proper elements for a, an enjoyable meal and no snacking that's the other thing in fact they were talking about they have snack machines but the snack machines s simulate home cooking so that you can get healthy items when you're on the run because Japanese people are very often away from home. They don't have cars so much, they're taking public transportation, so if they're working a lot, they're you know, very often just having to get fast food out of a machine, but it's not the type of fast food that we get here in the West. This is green tea. That put me in the mind of green tea when I was watching that. So I'm thinking um, about my eating and the fact that I have been taking in too many calories for my body. I'm still about six pounds overweight and that those six pounds are simply from overeating and not eating the right food, eating too much food. And my goal is to, when I eat during the day, the times that I eat, that that total amount is an amount of energy that my body really needs and no more. And th that's to train myself in terms of my habit pattern to do this naturally. Now, I think I'm gonna to continue to call these days juice days, even though I know I'm going to be eating <laughs> because I've sort of lost my juicing resolve. But all of the eating is in the realm of not juicing. In other words, I'm not in an eating just eating day. It's, it's, I am eating what I really feel I need. And hopefully that will be smaller amount than if I just said this is an eating day. Okay, I don't know if that's a pretty complex um, bunch of somersaults to do to justify why I'm not doing a juice fast. And when you've done as much juicing as I have, you know, you sort of, you get to this point where you start to rationalize why you're not going to do another day of juice. Anyway, that's where I'm at today. I was my intention to keep chronicling. Chronicling keeps me honest. It keeps my aspirations, my intentions, and my actions accountable, at least to me. And that is... I'm finding this to be extremely helpful. And as long as I'm struggling with overeating as a Westerner, you know, trying to get my food more Japanese-like, you know, more totally in tune with my amount of exercise and, and what I require during the day, um, I, I want to keep chronicling it because it's a useful tool for me of self-referral you know, what are, were my aspirations? What were my intentions? And then reviewing what were my actual actions? You know, what was I capable of doing? So uh, day two and tomorrow, I'll, I'll come in and chronicle how I did today. Hopefully this will help to keep me on track.